Following final confirmation of rocket readiness, the RD-180 engine and five Gem-63 solid rocket boosters ignite to produce more than two million pounds of thrust, lifting ULA's Atlas V rocket away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, the rocket begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure it experiences during flight. Atlas then reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound. The addition of five solid rocket boosters, or SRBs, precisely augment the liftoff thrust of the Atlas V, giving it the power to deliver the payload to orbit. With their propellant expired approximately 96 seconds into ascent, the SRBs burn out, followed by jettison. Atlas's guidance system then begins steering towards the precise target in space. Amazon's Kuiper satellites are encapsulated inside a five-meter diameter payload fairing, which provides protection to the spacecraft during ascent. After crossing the Kármán line, entering space, the payload fairing is jettisoned. With the majority of propellant expended fighting against the force of gravity, the RD-180 engine shuts down and the booster stage separates. The rocket then begins second stage flight, weighing less than 7% of what it did at liftoff. ULA's high-performance Centaur, with its RL-10 engine, ignites, powering the upper stage and spacecraft into a circular low-Earth orbit. The first burn comes to an end with engine shutdown, followed by Centaur orienting into the proper position to release Amazon's Project Kuiper satellites to begin building their low-Earth orbit satellite broadband network.